Okay, in this video I'm going to start exercise 2b on page 48 of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. So, in this, uh, in this we'll say exercise, the main new, the main new idea we've been given is the, the fact that area under a curve, uh, curve equates to distance. And to be honest, the book uh, introduced that in, in for section two or exercise two B. I introduced it for exercise two A. So if you've been following my videos, this should make uh, perfect sense to you. If it doesn't, that's fine. You can read the book and it'll tell you exactly what it means. Or go and look at my videos as well, and that'll also give you give you an idea. So let's let's start. Uh, it, it, the question one reads: A car traveling in a straight line accelerates. From rest to a speed of 30 meters per second with an acceleration of 3. If it then accelerates at a uniform speed of 30 meters per second with 60 seconds and decelerates to rest with a deceleration of 5 meters per second, find a lot of stuff. So, look, that might sound very complicated, and I'm sure it probably is. So, let's just break it down. Begin by drawing our velocity, time, or speed time diagram. Speed is measured at meters per second. Time is measured in seconds. So we're told uh, it's traveling a straight line. So that means the, yeah, straight line. So it says it travels from rest. At time t is equal to zero, v is equal to zero. To a speed of 30 kilometers an hour. So let's just arbitrarily say that this is 30, and after a certain time, it is at 30 meters per second. Because the acceleration is uniform and linear in nature, and it's in a straight line, you can join these by a straight line. That's the first thing. It then travels at a uniform speed of 30 meters per second. If it's uniform speed, it's not accelerating. Therefore, it's staying at 30. So here it's 30, here it's 30, and so on. So let's just draw a straight line like that. And does that for 60 seconds? No, it does that for... 60 seconds. So this is, we'll say this was t, then here is t plus 60, like that. And then decelerates to rest with a deceleration of 5 meters per second. So it decelerates to rest and it goes to zero at a deceleration of 5 meters per second. So I suppose we have to find out all the other things that we don't know. So, what will we do? Well, I'm going to treat the areas as follows. And I'm going to do this one, um, I suppose, the slowest, and the other ones would be pretty much the same, and I might pick up the speed for the rest of them. So remember that uh, half the base by the perpendicular height, or the area, you'll say, of, of a region will give you your, uh, your acceleration. In this case, we can't do that because we don't have the area. So we'll say in area 1, we know that. U, V, A, S, T. We know the initial velocity is zero and the final velocity is 30 meters per second. We're given an acceleration of plus three. We don't know the distance and we don't know the time. So let's try our UVAST formula. V is equal to U plus A, T. What unknowns do we have there? Time is the only unknown, therefore that formula is going to work for us. So we say 30 is equal to zero plus 3t. Therefore, t is equal to 10 seconds. Okay, 10. And I'm going to use the same formula I always use for distance, which is s is equal to u plus v over 2 times t. We know the time is 10 seconds, therefore the only unknown is the distance. So that is equal to 30 plus 0 over 2 times 10. That's 15 times 10 is equal to 150 meters, like that. So we know that the area of region 1 under the curve is 150 meters, and that took a total of 10 seconds. So what does that tell us? It tells us that this point here is at 70 seconds. So what's the area of this curve? Well. The, the, length of this, um, the length of this rectangle is 70 minus 10 is equal to 60. That's the length of it, and the height of it is equal to 30. Therefore, the area equals the distance 
equals 60 times 30 is equal to 100. Uh, sorry, that's not 100. Yeah, it's, it's 1,800, isn't it? Yeah, sorry, 1,800 like that. So that's 1,800 meters because we're dealing with a distance. So I can rub that out. Finally, we have to do area 3. So this is again a triangle. And what do we know? Oh, we can't do the distance. All right, or we can't use the area. So try UVAST once more. This is the exact same as region 1. The initial velocity is unchanged from up here. It's 30. Its final velocity is rest. Its deceleration you're actually given, and it decelerates at a magnitude of 5 meters per second. Now it's decelerating, therefore it is negative 5. You don't know the distance, and you don't know the time. So once again, V is equal to U plus A times T. So, 0 is equal to 30 minus 5T. Minus 30 is equal to minus 5T. Minus 30 over minus 5 is equal to T. Cancel the, the, cancel the signs, T is equal to 6 seconds. Okay, so that means this here is 76. By the way, it's 76 because between here and here is 6 seconds. So in total, that position on the, the t-axis is equal to 76 seconds. Finally, we get s by going u plus v over 2 times the time. 30 plus 0 over 2 times 6. So that's 15 times 6. Let's just have a gander in the calculator about that. It gives me 90 meters. So we'll just finish off this here by saying the area of that triangle is 90 meters. And as with all the questions, let's have a gander at the back of the book and see if we got this correct. So we're exercise 2B. So 10 seconds, that's correct. 60 seconds between 10 and 70, that's correct. And 6 seconds, that's also correct. And the obviously asked for the total area. So the total distance will be obviously the areas here which we found out, so let's have a look, 1800 plus 90 plus 150 gives an area of 2040, which is correct. So that's how to do that. I would like to think once again that that's reasonably straightforward. You just learn the principles and apply them. So thanks for watching, please subscribe to my channel, pass it on to your friends.